This is a very simple test. One thing will change in this photo, and one thing only. Try to spot the change. I'll give you a few seconds to figure it out. Here's what changed. See the clay pots on the table? They're brown now. Before, they were gray. If you didn't notice it, don't worry, you're not alone. In fact, most people don't, even if they think they would. That's the part that I find the most interesting, that people think they'll notice things that they actually don't. You can make changes that are fairly big, I mean, much bigger even than the one that you made, and people will miss those. Psychology professor Dan Simons is famous for his experiment, where people were so busy counting the times those dressed in white passed a basketball that they failed to see the gorilla walk past in plain sight. Why is it that we fail to see things that are right in front of us? Part of it is that we just have limits on how much we can focus on and pay attention to in any moment. There's only so much we can remember from a glance at a scene. If the visible structure of the eye is like a camera lens, then the retina, the inner layer of tissue at the back of the eye, is like the film inside the camera. This delicate organ forms an image by collecting light reflected from the surrounding environment. But within the retina, very little of it is actually high resolution, consisting of fovea that does complicated tasks like identifying faces. Most of our vision is low resolution, so we can't see everything. We are bombarded by so many stimuli that it exceeds the capacity of our brain, so we ignore most of what we see. If you think the clay pot example was too subtle, you're about to see one of Dr. Simon's experiments showing an extreme example of how much some of us fail to notice. An unsuspecting pedestrian is giving directions to the guy on the left, who's actually one of the experimenters in this study. A door passes between them, and the first experimenter is replaced by someone else. And the man giving directions has no clue he's now talking to a different person. Eight of the 15 people approached in the study didn't know the person they were talking to was replaced with someone else. Because we really don't spend that much time paying attention to the individual features and characteristics of somebody who's asking us for directions. After the change, we'll say, hey, did you notice anything unusual after those people went by carrying a door and say, well, you know, that was kind of rude. I mean, they could have gone around us, but they really have no idea that they're talking to somebody else. And he says those who did notice the change continue to give directions anyway, because they felt the social pressure to. So what are the implications of change blindness in everyday life? If you forget who your waiter is, that's natural. It would be easier to remember if something about them sticks out and grabs your attention, like if they had blue hair. Our failure to see change is why we tend not to notice continuity errors in films. If you're patting yourself on the back thinking you're great at noticing mistakes in movies, well, here's some news for you. The people who notice them are convinced that they always notice them, but of course they're only aware of the ones they happened to notice. They're not aware of all of the ones they miss. There's another more serious real life implication of change blindness. It could explain why eyewitness testimony may sometimes be unreliable, leading to a witness wrongly identifying a suspect. So, now that you're more aware of how unaware you are, time for another test. You're about to see two images switching back and forth rapidly. Keep your gaze fixed on the center and see if you can spot the difference between them. So, did you see what changed? If not, pay attention to the man on the right wearing the jeans. But just like before, keep your gaze on the center so that only your attention has moved, not your gaze. Did you catch the color of his jeans changing from blue to brown? Now that you know what's changing, you can see the change happening for yourself because you're focused on it. If you don't focus on what's changing, you're simply not going to see the change. How about one more example? Did you notice what changed this time? Take a look at the boat on the right. It has now disappeared. Seeing is difficult. Because we are limited in our sight, we have to let so much go. There are some life lessons here too. Perhaps what you truly need is in front of you, but you can't see it because you're focused on something else. In other words, you may not have seen what you truly need. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So does this make you a little bit better at detecting changes? Maybe, maybe not. For example, did you notice that my shirt changed throughout this video? Leave a comment if you did. Turns out you can get away with a lot more than you think. Awareness is tricky to improve unless you know what you're looking for. 
but you can improve your brain by building up skills in math, science, and computer science. Brilliant is a website and app that makes learning STEM super fun and interactive, so it doesn't even feel like learning. My all-time favorite is their logic course to really improve your critical thinking skills that are the basis for mathematical reasoning. In this example, you have to put the robots in the correct order. If you're ever stuck, there are explanations so you know where you went wrong. And you can explore the laws of physics and the principles of engineering by playing through their scientific thinking course. There's something for everyone on Brilliant, no matter your experience level. To get started for free, visit brilliant.org slash newsthink or click on the link in my description or pinned comment. And the first 200 people to click my link will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription, which unlocks all of the courses. Thanks for watching. For Newsthink, I'm Cindy Palm.